It's only recently that Australians have begun to realise that rainforest is irreplaceable and worth preserving. This is Terrania Creek in the Nightcap National Park in northern New South Wales. And this rainforest is now included in the UNESCO World Heritage List, along with the Grand Canyon in America, the Serengeti National Park in Tanzania, and Mount Everest in Nepal. Only a few years ago, this area was to be logged, and it was only stopped by the intervention of local conservationists. For five years, they wrote letters, carried out studies, and held meetings, all of which did nothing to stop the Forestry Commission's plan. And so, in 1979, 300 protesters finally placed themselves between the forest they loved and the logging company's bulldozers. The government's response was to send in 150 police. Sixty couples bright and blue crawling through the morning dew on hands and knees and to the children's altar. Polished battle black boot men stamping through the fairies' glen, cursing as they cross us in the water. And I swear that the sun will shine today, not an eye you better pick up your love and fly away. Vicious, brutal, they've been throwing us in the bush, dragging us on the ground. ground. Kids, children really crying. I mean, they've been Not bloody crying. Why are we are sitting here asking for an environmental impact study, that's all. If that's worth keeping 200 police up here for two weeks, let them explain that to the electorate. The issue is uh, whether the, uh, uh, the will of the uh, state government is going to prevail or the will of the people of Terrania Creek. It's, uh, uh, in effect, these people have uh, taken on the state government. They were gathered on and pushed inside the prison walls Offered to the abattoirs of justice You can run us off the land and you can chase us from the sea Lock us in your prisons but you let look and we're still free I feel like the sun won't shine today Come now you better pick up your love Look at it, force can't win the day. Force can only lose the day for all of us. Because if this goes on, the way I see it is we all lose. We're losing a valuable resource in this country. And worse than that, we're losing the, the principle that um, legitimate means, you know, can have effect. We want to know why you're, none of your officers here are wearing numbers, sir. No, I'm afraid I can't make any comment. A contingent of 100 police arrived at the scene early this morning in a fleet of some 20 cars, a bus and five paddy wagons. The task of the police was to ensure that a bulldozer brought to the forest last Friday could resume work on the reopening of a logging track to be used by sawmillers. 
about 300 people, mostly local new settlers, demonstrated peacefully in protest. game that's being played here at the moment. Before that tree fell, it was quite obvious that there were people down in that area, but the tree fell anyway. Now, they'd cut it part way through, and uh, there was nothing they could do to stop it. But even so, there were people down in that area when that tree fell. And for God's sake, I hope none of them were under it. Terania Creek to really focus our attention on the fact that, first of all, trees can't be replaced, that they are such uh, an important part of our natural heritage, but also that there are people, not in the hundreds, but in the hundreds of thousands, who love those rainforests and are prepared to get out and fight for them. Uh, politics in terms of the environment has never quite been the same since. This is Australia's land. This land belongs to Australian people. I am an Australian person. I am an Australian senator, and I am going to walk up that road. Today in Australia, conservation has become a real political force. It's not uncommon to see doctors, lawyers, and politicians standing up, being arrested, jailed, and even shot at in defence of our forest and wilderness areas. It was here, in the beautiful, remote, temperate rainforest wilderness of southwest Tasmania, that the spirit of Terrania was next expressed. The Franklin River, a vision of whole and unaffected nature, became the scene of the biggest environmental direct action ever to take place in the history of Australia. In 1982, the Hydroelectric Commission was set to dam the Franklin the same way it had dammed the Upper Gordon many years before, drowning forever the glorious Lake Pedder. The Australian people were not going to let the Franklin River go the same way. 3,000 people came here to protest, and over 1,000 were arrested and taken away. No dams rallies were held in every capital city and protesters jammed the streets. That if you look at the dam as a dam, it is at one and the same time an environmental obscenity and an economic absurdity. In March 1983, the Australian Labor Party, who were committed to stopping the dam if elected, won government. So the spectacular Franklin River one of the most beautiful and wild places on earth was left free to flow to the sea. I just feel great. This is, a, this is to me, this is uh, 
the, the warmest connection with the universe that we as human beings have. And everybody has this bond with nature. It's in all of us. And it makes you sing to be out here. It's inspiring. It's uh, challenging. It's, it's just uplifting. Thousands of people came from everywhere to take a stand in southwest Tasmania, and suddenly the campaign became part of the greatest uh, media event of the whole year. And there it was, the fight of the Franklin, on the front pages of newspapers, not only around Australia, but worldwide. We're lucky we've got the education, the opportunity, the time, and the security here in Australia to have a phenomenal impact. And let's hope it is a beginning that will lead to bigger victories, not only in Australia, but elsewhere on the planet. This is not just a river. It's one of a kind. It's freedom you're killing here in the waters that you bind. We're not fools who stand here now. We are everyone. I swear the Franklin is the face of things to come. I swear the Franklin is the face of things to come. I swear the Franklin is the face of things to come. 